Hello everyone, this is Paul Maciel from Mobidar.com and I wanted to show you how to install WordPress on GoDaddy. So what I did first, I logged into my GoDaddy's account and now at the green nav bar, I'm going to go ahead and click hosting. On the left hand panel on the web hostings plan page, I want to click hosting again. Okay, now as you can see, these are my different hosting accounts. Since I have more than one, I have a huge list of different hosting services. So, what I want to do is find mobidar.com and click on manage account. What we will be doing right now is installing a database that we can install WordPress on. Okay, now you can see that I'm at my hosting control center page. And now I want to go to databases and MySQL. Okay, now I'm going to go to the right hand panel and click create database. As you can see, it requires a different information. So I'm going to click, I'm going to enter in a description, installation for WordPress. It doesn't really matter what the description is. Uh, my SQ, SQL name, which is going to be Paul's test blog, a password. And then it's going to ask me to confirm the password, so I have to retype that password again. Now on the right hand side, you'll see MySQL version, you want to go with 5.0, and allow direct access for the database, say no. And then I'm going to press OK. As you can see, my database is successfully installed. Here's my host name, my database number, and so forth. Okay, now here is WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and extract my files to this folder. And I'm going to open up the WordPress file. Now these are all the main core files that, I'll, that I will be installing to my root index folder on my server. Okay. Right here is WordPress config sample. I want to open this with Microsoft WordPad. So as you can see, that's database name right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my database and I'm going to copy my database name. So I'm going to highlight that, right click and copy. Paul's test base. Okay, now what I want to do is paste that back in there or type it, it doesn't really matter. Now next is the database username. The database username and the database name are the same exact thing. So go ahead and paste it again there. Now I want to use the password that I used before for my database. So WordPress can access the database. So I'm going to put in my password. And the next thing on the list is the MySQL host name. Now for this, once you create the database, it'll automatically give you a host name. So you want to just highlight that and copy that and paste it right into WordPress config sample. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that and paste in my own host name. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to save the file as WordPress config dash sample dot php wordpress dash config dash sample dot dot php now and i want to go ahead and overwrite my previous file now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and rename that wordpress config file i'm going to click right click rename remove sample so it's just wordpress config and press enter and then i automatically uh, renamed it so now i want to open up my ftp client And I want to log into my website. Okay. So now that I'm on the root index of my website, you can see I already have previous installations. I want to go ahead and open up that WordPress file that I was working on. I want to press Control A to highlight, and then I want to upload all my files. For more information, you're going to have to go to mobidar.com to check out the post. Thank you.